a Christian film or like a faith-based film that has an R rating, I, I feel like people don't know what to do with that. I've kind of like, yeah. you know, uh, focus group did a little bit with some of my friends and stuff. And um, nobody's real sure about that. And I think what you guys did is pretty unique. It's been so tricky to label the film, to be honest with you, because it's like, it's simply like what I try to tell people is it's like, it's a regular movie, like just like envision like a regular movie that's about a faith journey. And but as soon as you say that, it becomes the Christian movie. It becomes Kirk Cameron. It becomes all these things. Don't have any like presuppositions in your mind when you go into the film. You just let it be a film, and don't be like comparing it to God's Not Dead or all these other things. Just go in and let it be a story. Go along the journey. When a Jewish person makes a Jewish movie, it's not considered a Jewish movie. When a Muslim person makes a story about their Muslim faith, it's not called a Muslim movie. But because Christians have like branded so much in this space you're all of a sudden put into that box and so that's been the trick at like tricky part